Hi, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I get a lot of questions from viewers. They are new at sewing and they want to know what they should start with. Sometimes they want to start with a very advanced project and I kind of try to get people to shy away from that. You need to take baby steps when you're learning how to sew. So I'm going to talk about how to make small projects using really large print fabrics or panel fabrics. So let's take a look at these two little drink coasters. And this is using large prints. So I have a coffee cup motif in this one. And then over here, I have margarita glasses and it's got chips and salsa all over it. So these are also great little projects to start with if you are just learning how to sew. Let me show you some other samples. These pot holders were made from panel fabric. And panel fabric is usually one large piece, anywhere from 18 inches wide by 42 inches long to maybe up to 24 inches wide by 42 inches long. On this particular panel fabric, I had all of these different chickens on it. And I love chickens and roosters. If you've been watching me for very long, you know that. I'm always doing projects with them in it. All I had to do was cut the squares out of the panel fabric. If I wanted to put a border on it, I could, but these were just the right size for pot holders. And then all I did was bind the edges. Now let me show you some other examples. The panel fabric that I used to make these three items had different squares all over it. So this was a different square than this one, and then here's another one. So I had a lot of options on this patriotic panel fabric. And what I made out of it, this is a mug rug, which is a little placement for your coffee and a little light snack. On this mug rug, I had to add a little extra piece of fabric, so I stitched it onto the side of it so that I could make a mug rug size piece. Here, this pot holder wasn't going to be quite large enough for me because I make my pot holders for my husband. He's the cook in the family, so he likes large pot holders. I added just a little extra fabric on these two squares. On this one, this decorative towel, it's a hanging decorative towel. It's got a little piece on the back that Velcros over the uh, handle of, let's say, your washer, washing machine, not washing machine, what do you call it? Dishwasher, that's what you call it, or on your stove or oven. And then I added this piece here. This was on the panel fabric. Plus I added some fabric at the bottom to finish it off. So you don't have to just make pot holders, you can make other small items too and work your way up to putting panel fabric squares into table runners and large quilts. So now let me show you some samples of a large piece of panel fabric. Isn't this colorful and cute? I thought this was just absolutely adorable. On this panel fabric, you have 15 different squares. So if you wanted to make pot holders or even drink coasters, large drink coasters, you've got a lot you can create. For those of you that are interested in doing craft shows where you can sell things, this is a great way to get started with some of these little projects right here because this type of thing really sells well at craft shows. Now let me show you another example. I absolutely love panel fabric that has a coffee cup theme or coffee pot theme. I think it's a great theme to have in a kitchen. And these squares on here, and by the way, there's nine of them on this piece of panel fabric. They measure approximately five and three quarter inches square. So there's enough room out here in between the squares to cut it down to about seven inches square. Now that's a little small for a pot holder, but you can still cut it and make it that size, or you can have large drink coasters. And remember, you can always add 
fabric strips on just to make it a little bit wider. So here's how I go about cutting out a square. Now I have a rotary cutting mat underneath. I like using my rotary cutter here and I also use a square ruler. So what I want to do is go out a little ways and I'm going to cut about a seven inch square because I want to leave enough over here for these other squares and so I'm going to line it up as best I can. So here's my seven inch square area right here. So I'm going to cut on these two sides first. So I'm going to go ahead and cut over here. And now I'm going to turn the fabric and cut the other side. So now I've turned it and I'm now going to place my seven inch lines here and here on the previously two cut edges. So go ahead and line it up on those two edges and then you can cut your last two sides. One of the things you're going to notice about panel fabric is it's never cut, it's never printed very straight. During the manufacturing process, as they're winding it around the, the cardboard strips that they uh, have in the fabric stores, it kind of stretches things out of shape. So sometimes it, it's not quite uh, in the stretching in the right way that you'd like it. But that's just all what panel fabric is. Every now and then you get lucky and you get one that's pretty straight like this one is. So that's how you would cut it out. I hope you learned something new from this tutorial and I hope you try to use panel fabric. It's a great way to get started sewing. If you want to find panel fabric, the best place to go is out on the internet because a lot of the local stores that are around me don't carry very much of it or not very often. I buy a lot of my panel fabric from eQuilter.com E-Q-U-I-L-T-E-R.com and then fabric.com. When you go into the website, in the search block, you just enter panel fabric and all kinds of options will show up. So look for the panel fabrics with all the different squares. Read the descriptions so you know how big the squares are because sometimes they're not very big. So if you want to make pot holders, you probably want to look for the largest one you can. Some of you are going to ask me, where did I get this chicken rooster? It's been a long time and I don't think you'll find it anymore, but I was really, really lucky to find it. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. And then also look below your YouTube screen for video links to how to make different pot holders. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on the thumbs up button. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Click on the bell so you can receive notifications about my latest videos. I'm Cheryl, and this is Scotty, and this is Manny. See you next time, and happy sewing.